a new tent has arrived. It's meant to be a two-man tent. Cheapy Charlie films, but eleven pounds, twelve pounds. I wanted something really cheap. Doesn't really matter if it gets tatty. Um, to use for fishing or while camping. Um, and so I sit myself in uh, with lots of room to do things if it rains or just to keep the bugs out. Some of the parts of the woodland where I want to camp and do camp um, in the summertime is full of wood ants and all sorts of bugs. I know it's all part of the fun, but there you go. And the tent's just arrived today. Holes. feels like it. It's not the uh, Gore-Tex breathable stuff. I so it's how cheap. Single layer. It's got a mosquito net, which is good. Well, that's it up. I've had a few problems with it. Didn't get any cheap, nasty Hong Kong crap. Um, the bungee cord in one of the set of poles is gone, which made it difficult because it kept falling apart. That's something I probably could sort out. Um, for some reason this pole was a right nightmare to get in, but to sort that out, I've done it before, just saw off a, a couple of mils off the end of the pole to make it a little bit shorter. Um, but it was about £12, I'm not going to get a lot for that. Well, this is it, um, got this little top flat covered here, air vent there. It's quite narrow, it's meant to be a two man tent, but probably two very, very small people. Um, and short as well. So I've got it up in the front room because uh, I don't have a back garden basically, so there you go. It's definitely not a two man. But, uh, I'll sit there, see, mozzy net. It'd be right for fishing. Bad. It'll keep most of the bugs out. It's quite thin material, so I don't know if it lasts very long. It's probably more of a festival thing, like one night or a couple of night job. It'll do me for my um, fishing on the riverbanks. So I put the rod down there in bait box, whatever, and just keep it here. I just get inside to measure it out. I'm five foot six and my feet are just about touching the end here. You won't want to be any taller than me. My feet are just rubbing against that. And my head is literally on there. And you've got to think of um, a sleeping bag in there as well. So. I don't know if people in Hong Kong are very tiny or what. It's wide enough for one person. You see, with a sleeping bag and all that would take up most room. I think I'll probably get like one fishing rod in there. Um, I'll probably get a load of condensation with the fault and this stuff. But um, I think in you know, hot summer's night, it'd be alright, have that open. Should be alright. I don't like this, where it sort of 
curls around and goes up because this material don't feel very strong at all. You put a lot of pressure on that and that's what's pulling the top down. It's, there's no like straight edging up, like a wall type thing, you know what I mean.